Hello, everyone. It is Friday, September 13th, 2024. Welcome to the Sober Strength podcast. This is our first ever Friday Fortitude episode. Um, what I want to do, because the weekends are typically a triggering time or a more difficult time, particularly Fridays and Saturdays for people who are seeking to cut back on drinking, completely refrain from drinking, or really because we're not just about drinking here at the show, we're about cutting back on or cutting down on any indulgences that be, that can become problematic. I wanted to just send out a quick episode every Friday called Friday Fortitude just to motivate and to strengthen your resolve as you, as you head into the weekend. So hopefully you can push through and power through, have a great weekend, and I can see on the other side with you having kept up with all of your goals. And that said, I'll keep them short, motivating, and in this case, for this first Friday Fortitude, I'm somewhat serious. Uh, because if you've been keeping up on the news uh, this summer, in late August, there was there was one of one of those tragic events that I think just instantly catches everybody's hearts and minds. Something that happened uh, to two brothers in my home state, the state of New Jersey, South Jersey in particular. Uh, the brothers' names are Johnny and Matthew Goudreau. Uh, Johnny is a well-known uh, professional hockey player, Johnny Hockey, I believe is his nickname, came from South Jersey. His brother, Matthew, also um, a hockey player, young men born in the 1990s, both husbands, both fathers. Actually, it has come out since their tragic passing that Johnny's wife uh, was nine weeks pregnant uh, when he was taken from this earth. So Johnny and Matthew were driving their bicycles at night in South Jersey. And they were struck on the shoulder by a man who is now confirmed to have been uh, drunk driving. And that man has two uh, young daughters himself. Um, he had an open container in the car. He was driving recklessly. And this isn't alleged, this is um, known, and actually tried to pass two cars on the right shoulder of a road going around a bend where both Johnny and Matthew uh, were riding their bikes. Struck and killed them, both men pronounced dead at the scene. And the men, Johnny and Matthew, they were actually in town um, for their sister's wedding. Uh, they were going to be groomsmen in their sister's wedding the very next day. So this this family, the, the Goudreau family, um, you know, tragically lost two, two brothers in one instance because of the actions of another man who was drinking and driving. And you'll notice with these episodes that there are no edits, no cuts, just want to get right to the point and uh, talk. So, I mean, this story, it's captured, you know, it's on national news and it's, it's really moved people. And, and for good reason, it's just, it's tragic. These families of these two men, their children are going to grow up without a dad. Their wives are widows. These are, this is a, a legacy, generationally impactful moment. Um, and uh, thoughts and prayers. And I, I would, whether you're you know spiritual or not, I would, I would ask and, and and hope that you'd be willing to say some prayers for these families, their children, their wives, and or at least just you know send some condolences. But point here is this: I think when we when we think about our relationship with alcohol or other substances, and we decide to make an improvement, I think for most of us, it's you know we look at it like, hey, we just want we want to better our health, we want to look better, feel better you know, live longer. And those are, those are good reasons. But what I think this story brings out is, you know, there can be some very, very destructive, disastrous things that can happen when 
alcohol misuse, alcohol abuse, substance use is involved. So in other words, it can quite literally be life and death. And also, I think when we hear a story like this, it's our, it's our natural inclination to put ourselves in the shoes of those who were the victims. Um, it could have been any one of us driving our bikes that night. It could be any one of our friends or family or loved ones driving the bikes those nights. And we, and we empathize and sympathize and feel terrible for those people. But for some people who have had issues with substances, we could have just as easily been the person behind the wheel. And I don't think any one of us should think whether it's now or years from now, decades and now, that we couldn't be the person behind the wheel, which just brings more of a sobering reality to the conversation around how important it is to be honest with ourselves around our relationship with substances, to be honest with, with ourselves on how vulnerable we are when it comes to substance use, and by God, to do everything we can to just control our mental health and to improve our mental health and to improve those relationships so that tragedies like this don't happen. So whatever your goal is, remember Johnny and Matthew Gaudreau. Remember the man who was driving the car. Just remember this story. Take that with you. If your reasons going into the weekend for having a healthier relationship with alcohol or cutting back or, or more surface level and I'll say benign, it would you know, have to do with aesthetics and overall health. I mean, that's great, but you can still take a lesson from this that it's important and a lot can be at stake and so, so much trauma and harm can be avoided if we have discipline, self-respect, and we can find a way to have a healthy relationship with our environment and the substances, not only that we consume with our mouths, but also with our eyes and our ears. So with that, I wish you nothing but joy content, and above all things this weekend, safety as you head into the weekend. So thank you so much for listening. Live deep.